Alright, hey guys, you joined me for part three of Tacoma, and we're just about to check out the um, engineering area, whatever. Uh, we just did the biomedical one, and unfortunately, we couldn't find the key for the uh, little cage thing that they needed. But, um, yeah. We've done the. What was the first one we did? Uh, I have cryogenics now. I have no idea. We did one of them first, anyway. Uh, but yeah, so next it looks like we're doing engineering, so here we go. And if you haven't seen any of the other two parts, uh, basically this ship went radio silent or whatever. Uh, debris hit the oxygen tanks, got ruptured, the gang wanted to escape. And they had... The lagging is happening for me as well, by the way. Um, and they had a few ideas. They wanted to go into cryo sleep because it was going to take a while for the extraction team to come pick them up. More time than they had with the oxygen that was remaining. Uh, but it was a risk to go into the cryo sleep. And another idea was to use... Another idea was to use the um, the like shipping drone or whatever to carry the people, but it, that would be too complicated. Is what I got from one of the memos, at least anyway. So yeah, what we have to do is we have to put our data transfer panel into the slot, and then while that's uh, transferring, we just go and look at look around in the other rooms. So here we have the network technology area and the mechanical engineering area. So I'll do what I've done on another one which is close my eyes and spin round and three, two, one, you. Okay, we're closest to this one so we'll do the network technology thing. If okay, never mind, because that was a waste of time. I guess we're going over here to the mechanical engineering. Nice lighting here. Recoverable AR crew 18 hours ago. Okay, this is the most recent we've had. Maybe. It says, okay. Uh, I'll catch up with you. 22 okay. minutes. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information. Okay, so let's see what Sarah has. So take my time, let me know I'm ready to go into cryo, but I'm ready now. If I'm doing this thing, it doesn't make sense to waste any more oxygen dragging my feet. Okay, so some of them have gone into the cryo sleep. What else we got? We got a message between her and Nat. Is that everything? That can't be three things, okay. Kurshenko. Oh yeah, that's not. And she decided to put her into cryo sleep because she'd rather she died that way. Her medical scans. That was to avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to- Oh, okay, so. Evie is in cryo, Clive's in cryo, they're the two that are going out. Nat is not in cryo, but she's going to be. Andrew in cryo, doing AI stuff. Margaret Catwood? Who the hell is that? To make that choice. If you had no choice. Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that Standard Venturous Corporation Safety Protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? I... I... As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... 
Oh no. Sarah, there is a biosuppression device. How? Oh my god. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew! Ow! My hip just hurts! Bird? Bird! 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 One, two, three! Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three! <gasps> oh, okay, I thought she's dead. Did, did it work? In the back. Oh, baby. Ow. Oh. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> the smoke. <coughs> smoke? I... What? I can't, I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. I'm sure it's just... I can't, I can't smell the smoke. Not, not do I have brain damage? Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. Together. That's what matters. There's some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but... We're not allowed to ah, okay, access that's been why. Again. Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. That fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, so it's not 20 minutes because we missed a lot of time in the middle. So we have to try and. Oh, actually, we can watch. So if we keep going. There. Okay, there she is. And then we can. Look at this one and see what happens here with these guys. Uh... Okay, so they're trying to sort out that stuff. Failed. Okay, we actually got this one. Okay, so that's Andrew wishing them good luck with sorting the stuff out. What does this do? Okay, so that override thing didn't work or something. Anyway, let's play this. <sighs> Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. <sighs> it's gonna be fun. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's pause that for now and let's have a look around. Okay, more function, that's fair. What else we got? Personal quarters. For Roberta Williams. There's some like fancy ass looking cigarettes. Mm, 
Oh. Okay. No, nope. we have fine arts, more Singapore stuff. Okay, so that's probably like the lamest one we've had so far. So, still no closer to working out that code. Must have missed something. I think there was one more room around to the left, but I don't know if it was like a proper room or if it was just like a little cupboard. But it looks relatively promising, I guess. What is this? It's like a weird, like, engine kennel thing. What else we got? I don't know I keep opening that same goddamn thing. Oh, they're married, okay. So 0809 would be a decent guess. Freedom Republic. Alright, so 0809, we're going to try on that door. If it's her wedding anniversary, and she's like the head of this department. Did we go through here? The power cell access. I don't think we did. Okay, we didn't, but it's not that exciting. We didn't miss much. But I'm sure there must be some kind of know use behind it if it's there but anyway 0809 careful there we go have with that Ooh. okay now I feel like we're getting into the the underbelly okay this bit's got suddenly much more sinister. Okay. Seven months ago. Who we got this time? Cigarettes. I 
fetch him with Marvin Fleming. Special access has been granted to the station's AI. Station AI's physical processing compartment. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. Lighting is really great in this area. Okay, so. Exit. I love that sound design as well. Subcontractor Ferry AI Wetware Access this way. Okay. It's kind of creepy how it, um. Like, kind of changes itself for whoever is like there, like it, like the signs will read specifics. Oh, fitting, Halloween is coming up soon, although by the time this comes out it'll be maybe like January or February or some shit. Okay. The AI Liberation Front. What if she's like an, an, an AI? Not an AI, but like a robot. Okay, so there is something... Oh, is it just more... Like a wash your hand station, okay. So nothing too exciting in here. But we have more to explore in the network specialist's office. Lovely light. Look at that, that looks great. It reminds me of, um... I think it's Snowpiercer. There's like a room... Or like one of the carriages towards the end kind of reminds me like of stuff like this. Oh, okay. All right, what we got this time? And how long ago was it? Hey there. Um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. So we pause it and we can have a look at her thing. So, Odin. Okay, so this is her, like, just arriving. One of my sister's first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma. The one that died. What we got over here? Oh, the cluey dog thing. And the Tangiers guy. Okay. Right, Hello, carry on now. I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. I like how they got the corrupted like file areas I think that's kinda cool. Grab tape. Wrappers. Snacks. Yeah, I don't know why we need to know the names of Ooh, Vainy Johnny. That's disgusting. Okay, so actually we can have a look at her workstation stuff. Oh yeah shit, I didn't think about that. So there you go. This month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency. Oh yeah, the Caprice ratings. Which is that thing we've got to the side. I like it, she has a sense of humour, I like that. Ok, 
Okay, so let's click this, see what happens. Okay, it just shows us a chart. That's not that exciting. I thought I might have activated something. So she's got him cleverer, I guess. Twelve hours ago, okay. I am here. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? Uh, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Venturis regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I can... Matt, I'm going in. Okay, um, just be careful. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Fourteen hours ago. Which one's it gonna be? Is this? Oh, it's Sarah still. What is all this? Shouldn't it have been earlier than... Communication records? 12 hours ago? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Seeing as how she entered it 12 hours ago, but now this is 14 hours ago? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th. 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas, and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturis say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. So that's that plan we all encourage, along. we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what? Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Okay, so. Okay. So he's given the message to do all that stuff. And even the AI is wanting it to like not be legal or wrong or whatever, and they're like, no, they'll be fine. Cause we'll send a crew to save them once they're in uh, stasis or cryo. But Okay, so they're just saying that to keep him on side or Rescue, cancelled, relaunch, unscheduled, intentionally cancelled, yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen. Fortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavailable, unavoidable. 
AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. Do not contact us about this issue again. Okay, so he's a good guy. And they just kind of put him in an awkward position for their, um... Following the failure of the Venturist-backed orbital workers' safety bill, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being re repealed. Without a repeal, Venturious bulk facilities cannot really begin operation. To this end, I have simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OSEP Congress votes. Precipitous decline of the orbital market and extended strike by orbital workers' union members. Assassination of OSEP members opposed to the HOA and more. Or crew made it with tragically lost due to an accident, not caused by negligence. I calculate ninety four percent likelihood of the accord being repeated or repealed within three months. A reversal of Venturi stock decline resulting in a record stock price within one year of the Venturi bulk beginning operation. Thank you, Juno. Is there a facility that you would consider an ideal candidate? Based on low public profile, crew on board projected financial impact and their loss of best is the inventorious fleet would be the Tacoma. Thank you, I'll be in touch. Okay, so, you know, it's obvious what happened. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Hailing any ship. Any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Zebra Foxtrot 853 0451 Zebra Foxtrot 853 where it was I'm going to have to type that in ourselves. I will say that. Okay. Make sure that the AI cognition medium has successfully been removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates will be ensured. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. Okay, so what? We're just going to leave? Now that we have it? I think we looked at everything, didn't we? Okay, yeah, and this is where we came in. So yeah, so the story is, they wanted, their, their stock went to shit, and they wanted it better, and have like all AI ships. So the way to want people to be on their side would be to stage an incident where an accident caused the deaths of loads of people and then that way they could oh okay, yeah which thing was it oh idiot I could've just gone out this way okay never mind um so yeah so it was all planned and they cancelled the retrieval people once uh, they were in cryo because they didn't want them to live obviously and uh, she found out the truth as well, did Sarah. So yeah, okay, interesting 
little backstory thing. It's like the kind of thing that you'd read in like a uh, like Mass Effect or something. All right, I go back to Mass Effect again. It's like space, but it's the kind of thing where you could imagine it being the um, like backstory of like a planet that you come across and like reading through like the memos and stuff. That would be like the things. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna like pretend it's like that. Like it's probably like the larger Mass Effect universe, and Shepard would come across like uh, this station and read the memos and work out what happened. So yeah, it's like a nice little neat little contained story. I, I dig it. Okay, so here they are. He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the drone work? Okay, so let's look at this. So we've got failed. So he's got me on the gurney. I'm gonna be feel good to get off this fucking station. Okay, so no one died. Well, yet, anyway. Seeing stories public on air already. and back from Jupiter. Oh yeah, there's the uh, clothes thing. No. The drone didn't work. Oh, so... VT is picking us up. Uh, no. VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? I've never been. <laughs> now, nah, on the break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kids' graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas, why well, he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Yeah, um... Andrew? Where's the yellow one? Oh, okay. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, so they've got them out of uh, cryo. The Resplendence, that is a fucking awesome name. Okay, cool, so their friend guy, the... Uh, Jermaine, that was it. Okay, okay, makes sense, I like it. Okay, cool. I'll sit over here and listen to these guys. What's important is we're getting out of this. Like dialogue first, and I'll go back over we're there. Gonna be somewhere where we can't touch us. We'll probably have to replace them. And listen to what they're saying. We're gonna be safe. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so blue. Here we are. Hassan, what here is this? I'm Sarah Tacoma Station. I was hoping I could ask you for a favor. Okay, failed. Failed. I'm waiting for one of those, like, all failed. D mum and dad. Okay, so she's like the uh, whistleblower, whatever the word is. Hi, Amy. Feeling okay? Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. Okay, so let's go and listen to these guys' conversation while oh, that's all happening. Okay. T 
two to four hours, that's not bad. Warming blanket. Okay, cool, I dig it, I dig it. Okay, lovebirds, your vitals look good. I think I'm still <laughs> waking up. Okay, lovebirds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. Our splendid stinging is just about docked. Oh, do we have to? Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. My guess? They'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he rose. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Okay, so we saw the rest of it. Just wondering if we can. Like, is there anything else like open now? Personnel, did we go down there? Was that the first one we went down? I want to say that's where we came from. So let's head on through the uh, docking access thing. Okay, cool, we've got another little. Uh, Travel to thing. Is this where we got on? Because now I'm confused. Okay, no, this looks new, doesn't it? To me, at least. I am now the overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return all Venturious AI components to specified delivery location immediately. Purge all confidential data encountered while on Venturious property. I trust there is no need to remind you of the severe consequences for deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon. So here we go, installing the AI wetware. Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. Yes, Minnie, I will. Begin launch sequence, okay. That's another cool thing, it reminds me of uh, Face Off, how he's got the um, the pants that uh, stick right to the, not the pants, pants, the, the boots that stick to the floor so that you can't run away or anything, or cause shit. Okay, Minnie, initiate the launch sequence. Okay, getting ready. Posted AI online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. 
We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Nice. I dig it. I really do. So that was uh, Tacoma. Which I never heard of until, what, six hours ago. But yeah, it looked really great. And the story was nice and concise, like it made sense. You could see it being like a, a Doctor Who episode or something like that. Where they'd like go through the um, ship and work shit out as it goes along. And happy ending, I guess, with uh, Odin being an actual good guy which you never like it, it's so rare that the twist is that the AI is not evil that's that's the point we've got to right now so I, I dig that us being with um, the Tangiers thing rather than Venturis which is what I thought we were with uh, is pretty cool too so I, I dig it um, so would I make it, recommend it yeah um, but I wouldn't say like buy it for like seven quid or how much they wanted it for um but yeah i thought it was really interesting and well executed and they were right to keep it that short because if you keep that kind of idea going it's just you essentially watching a bunch of ghosts um i can imagine that being really kind of boring after a long time but they kept it the right length it was kept me interested and I enjoyed the story and I really liked it so yeah uh, Tacoma gets two thumbs up from me so yeah that was Tacoma and that was in my opinion really interesting and different so uh, yeah there you go thanks for watching um, catch me next time for another game whatever it is so there you go hardcore escape Okay, cool. So there you go, that was Tacoma. Oh, okay, another one. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it too. So like and subscribe, all that shit. And, uh, yeah. That was Tacoma. Thanks for watching, still awesome. And this is Nukes Plays, signing off. See you around, guys.